Nora. And welcome to season two, episode nine of Joe with, with the Flow. Flow. On the go. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Tahoe right now um, with mountains of snow. Yeah. For a um, romantic Valentine's <laughs> Day getaway. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are going to make a double orange cake. I don't know that I've had an orange cake before. Yeah. Like, just orange. Just orange. Lemon short. Else. It's got um, a little bit of a topping and mm -hmm. lots of orange. And that's yeah, basically orange it. Orange in it, orange on top of it. Here we are in this beautiful kitchen. Yes. You can see our faces. Yes. You'll actually be able to see what we do. It won't be a mystery under the cabinets. Sorry we can't provide this every week. I know. But today we will, so enjoy. <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts. <clears throat> so this week we have a special tin. We have a little heart-shaped tin. So it's obviously not exactly what is said in the book. Um, it says it should be an 8-inch deep round. This is a little bit bigger, I think. Which is good because the lemon cake did rise more than we expected and I would imagine this will be kind of similar. Yeah. Just based on the amount of baking powder and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so since it's specified deep, we know now that it actually means <laughs> deep. Hopefully this being a little bigger will prevent any issues there. Gotta say, it was not that easy to move our whole show on the road. <laughs> there are a lot of pieces to remember to bring along. I'm surprised we, I mean, it doesn't seem like we're missing anything. Yeah, hopefully. Once again, um, the eggs are being further added in. Yeah, this seems just very similar to the lemon. It egg. is, yeah. Luckily, <laughs> we didn't have to bring our egg beaters. They were just here. Just, you know, such a staple in every kitchen. <laughs> I guess. It's so funny. Mom, is that too? Ooh, woohoo! The snow! <laughs> Just trying to bring the snow in. Yeah, somewhere. she's not content to look at the <laughs> snow outside. I didn't watch much. Yeah. Christmas movie wise. It's kind of sad. <laughs> it's always next year. A year for that. Oh. That must made that morbid. <laughs> Till the years run out. Oh, unless you die. Yep. <laughs> But we won't think like that on this happy Valentine's Day <laughs> episode. <laughs> Let's see, how do we want to do the taste? Just into our fingers to catch any seeds? I'm here. <laughs> Ooh, it was pretty. <laughs> I'll find out if I have any cuts on my hands. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So far, we're good. Grande Snow Bunny Realness. Oh, wow. <laughs> Something about these slipper boots just makes me think of Ariana Grande. And I think it's her like Christmas music video, but I don't think she's even wearing anything like that. <laughs> but she would. Yeah. yeah. She would. <laughs> I know her so well. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely uh, more of a batter and less of a thick batter. <laughs> like a lot of our batters. I know, what, I know what you were saying. Yeah. I realized part of me through that sentence was like, what do we call the other thing? Yeah, we call them batter. We've got a little bit of space. I'm sure it will be at the top. We mm -hmm. just hope it doesn't go beyond yeah. the top. You can taste it, but I, see, I know what you mean, but... It's more subtle, but it's definitely there. And then the topping will also have some more oh, orange yeah. in it, so oh, it'll oh. get... In there, just like the lemon one had mm -hmm. a lot more yeah. in there. Mm, I'm excited. Okay, let's stick it in the oven all the way over here. Okay, also you can see me through the smoke. <laughs> we have a mess out. It did overflow. Um, Oops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so we'll clean that up later. But for now, we'll just check this. Um, it also sunk quite a bit. Well, it rose a lot and then sunk. Yeah. Um, Which is annoying because if it had just not risen quite that much in the first place, we wouldn't yeah, have had the problem. I'm sure, it's done. 
So we let this cool a bit. We're gonna clean it up and try to get it out. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it'll be okay once we get the... And we didn't bring um, pieces. a wire rack to pull it out, so we're just gonna do it onto the plate. It's not, I mean, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I, me too. I'm not too worried about that. Gonna make a mess in the meantime, though. <laughs> um, hopefully once it's upside down, it won't look quite so sunken. And when this stuff is cut off, too, because that's making it look even taller. Here we go. Ready? I guess. I don't know. You want to hold it or you want to put the plate up? That's probably a better <laughs> idea. Do one of these. And the moment of truth. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. So you can't tell upside down for sure. I wasn't thinking that for some reason. You definitely cannot tell. It looks like we did like did it totally fine. Yeah. So especially because the plate's curved. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know if it's the cake or if it's the plate. Aw. Yeah. It works out. What a cute little Valentine's Day treat. So we're ready to make the topping. Um, so an interesting thing about this is that though it's all orange, the only thing that's not is there's a little bit of apricot jam that mm -hmm. goes over it before the topping. Mm -hmm. So I think that's maybe to help it stick. I think, yeah, not sink like, in um, maybe. What's that called on a cake when you do like the crumb coat? Yeah. You know, so like you put something in then the frosting so that it all adheres a little more and you don't mess up the cake itself. Yeah. So, um... We're gonna just heat up a little bit of this in a pan over here while we make the other topping and then we'll spread it. Yeah, so this is just icing sugar and uh, the juice of half an orange. I'm supposed to be sifting this, um, but we don't have a way to do that, so we'll just kind of break up the chunks with a fork, I guess. And then let's, um, well, let me stir it a little bit too so it's not. These so oranges good. are. That's an interesting color. Yeah, they're kind of pink. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean, though? I don't want to mm -hmm. get it too runny. Because, again, oranges could be different sizes. I think. No. Because, like, to me, that seems, because it says, the mm. coating consistency. Yeah, yeah, right? Because if we're pouring it on, yeah. Yeah, this isn't the first time we've used apricot jam. Yeah, I'm curious so why this. if apricot's just like a pretty neutral flavor or something. Yeah. But I feel like it's a pretty strong flavor, but maybe compared to others. So we just spread this all over, just the top, brush over the top of the cake. Is this how we can tell it is? <laughs> Uh, some game. Game. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go up. I mean, also it's due to the plate. Yeah, a little bit. It's not. I don't think if it were flat, this would really be an issue. Mm -hmm. Tastes like marmalade. Super good. Really good. Spongy. Um, it's a, yeah, pretty mo really moist. Um, really zesty like a lot of orange zest <laughs> in it it's really good a lot sweeter than a lot of the cakes that we've been eating so it looks spongy it's definitely really saturated with like juiciness so you're getting a lot of liquid and frosting and stuff so that's really good um i really like the zest because it's not overpowering it's definitely like something I would eat in the morning, I think. Okay. Yeah. And um, I think there's too, like at first it seems like there's too much frosting on it, but I actually really like the amount of frosting that's on it. I was just about to say, my one criticism is that the, the frosting works super, super well with the cake, but the cake itself is a little dry on its own. Um, but like when combined with the frosting, it's totally perfect. The simplest thing in life is a half teaspoon. <laughs>